Hello there, welcome. This is gonna be your bonus reading for the eclipse and full moon in Cancer on Friday, January 10th, 2020. This is for fire signs, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So the full moon will actually peak on Friday, I think around 11 a.m. or so Pacific time. So be aware of that. And I know the last eclipse that was on December 25th for you guys, there was a lot going on around the heart and kind of a major heart opening. So I'm curious to see how this eclipse is going to affect you guys. Okay, amazing. We are starting off with two major arcana cards surrounding very strong stability, okay? So I've got Magician out first, Ten of Pentacles, followed by the High Priestess. As soon as this Magician card came out, I immediately felt, this is you guys. This is a very fire sign energy. Having all the tools, making things happen, manifesting success, all of that. So I kind of feel this eclipse is really going to open something up for you guys as far as your confidence in choosing what you want in your life, what you want to create, what direction do you want to go in, what kind of relationship do you want to have. And it's knowing, it takes a maturity uh, to know which tool to bring to the table at what time. So I kind of feel that um, this eclipse for you fire signs is going to help you mature in, how do I explain what I'm feeling? It's bringing in like a new level of maturity for you as far as what you're capable of and how powerful you are when it comes to things in your life, okay? And the ability that you have to create stability, financial stability, relationship stability, stability within your health and your own well-being, that's all up to you. So I feel this ton of pentacles, I, I'm hearing like family strength. I feel the, the connection with your family members and your family unit um, is going to be stronger after these eclipses. I feel like with the heart opening and with a lot of the healing and the clearing that has happened, it has made those bonds stronger. It has made the foundation of the relationships around you stronger. And that's a really beautiful thing. And with the High Priestess here, I mean, that's kind of like kudos to you guys. This is you really tuning in to your higher self, to those higher energies, to the soul and the heart energies to bring you your answers, to bring you your guidance. So I kind of feel with these two, the Magician and the High Priestess, that you're no longer like searching out there for answers or guidance, that you're really tuning into your own confidence and your own awareness um, and your own intuition, which is amazing because that puts you at really in a place of power to choose the best things for you, for your path, for your wishes and your desires, as well as for the people around you that you love and care about. I know fire signs, you're very much love to be the providers and to really take care of those around you that you love and care for. So I feel, you know, that's kind of strengthening here at this second eclipse on Friday the 10th. Okay, interesting. So next up, we've got Six of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. This Six of Pentacles, I'm feeling this is going to be a test for you. Because of your the, the inner strength that you're coming to and because of the, the clarity that you're coming to with your decisions and your power in things, I feel... Those who have maybe taken advantage of you or taken you for granted, that is going to test you in a way and that's not going to work anymore. So those out of balance relationships are no longer going to be around you. 
And I don't really see this as some big tragic thing. There's a, you know, a blowout fight or something big happens. I feel like these type of unbalanced relationships will just kind of fizzle out and go away. Simply because of the shift in your energy and what you're willing to put up with and what you're willing to have in your life. There's something really magical that happens when you get in alignment with your highest self here. Things that aren't resonating with that anymore, they kind of just go away and they move. it'll move to somewhere else that resonates with them, right? Because we always will attract and have in our life what we're, one, willing to put up with, and two, that we vibrate at that same level, you know, in some way. So I just feel these type of relationships are going to go away for you in kind of like an easy way. And I think that's also like the support of the eclipses. They help to just remove things out of our life that are no longer uh, serving us. And I kind of feel this is your energy, fire signs, like grounded, centered, in your place of power. Queen of Pentacles energy really brings, um, you know, a nurturing energy. It's very much about the home and taking care of the home and taking care, kind of like the more domestic energies. So you may be feeling a little more grounded, right? Like you want to be home more, you want to connect uh, more with those at home and those more important relationships in your life instead of being off busy and being off chasing this dream and this new opportunity. It's like I kind of see fire signs taking a little bit of downtime to just be. To just be. Whew, wow, that feels good. I just felt like this huge weight lift off of me. So side note, Fire signs, you don't always need to be the go-getter and like charging ahead. It's okay to take a step down, a step back and to just kind of be and take a little breather or a little time out. That's actually going to launch you forward if you do allow yourself rest and to rejuvenate and to really take care of yourself in that way. Because um, I feel like maybe a lot of you have put your own health, your own well-being, the things that are important to you kind of on the back burner because your, your focus has been giving to others and those around you. So I feel like you can't hide from that anymore. It's really time for you to be honest with yourself in what you need. Yes, I'm going to say that again. It's really time for you to be honest with yourself and what you need. You can't like you can't put your needs aside anymore. And I do think that is going to be a huge theme for this whole year in 2020 is personal responsibility and really taking care of the self before others. Meaning we're not overgiving, we're not burning out, we're, you know, we're having healthy boundaries and we're taking care of ourselves and our own well-being first. That is an absolute must. So I feel like you can't really hide or avoid that anymore. And if you look at the way these two are positioned, like you, you're, you can't get away from it. It's like you're going towards this more grounded, centered energy here, whether you want it or not. You can be looking the other way and you can be thinking, oh, you know, I can keep avoiding this or whatever. But it's like the universe is like, nope, not happening. You're definitely going to just feel more grounded and more centered. Awesome, awesome reading. Okay, fire signs. What else do we need to know for you in this eclipse on January 10th? Yeah, I literally feel like as you guys are watching this, you are going to be very relieved with the messages coming through. Almost like, oh, thank goodness, someone else told me I need to take a time out. <laughs> Instead of like you telling yourself you need to take a time out. Okay, so doctor's orders. It's, it's okay to take a time out. Yes, the time out is going to launch you forward. That's the hidden message here. The time out, the getting grounded, the getting centered, that is going to launch you forward because you're going to be in a much more balanced place here with the chariot. You know, that chariot can only move in a straight line on the highest and best path for you when it's balanced. If either of these sphinxes down here 
are out of balance, the chariot is going to move one way or the other. It's not going to move in a straight line. So the balance is super important, and that comes back to cleaning up any relationships that are out of balance in your life as well. Oops. Okay, we'll take those two. Yep. <laughs> So cleaning those things up, look at how footloose and fancy free you are going to be. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, I feel like this eclipse is going to set you free. You're letting go of the baggage. You're letting go of taking on the burdens and the weight of others. You're focused on your own happiness, your own splendor. That is not a selfish thing to do, by the way. That is an old misconception. We should be taught as children to have our needs come first in what's important to us because when that is taken care of, we have so much more love and strength to give to those in our lives. We're better at our work. We're better in our relationships. We're better in our own health and well-being when we put ourselves first. So, I mean, look at You're letting go of the baggage. You're emotionally more mature, more centered. So your emotions are going to be more centered. And, you know, coming back to the last eclipse, reading the, the heart opening, your emotions are going to be more available to you. So I feel like a more balanced energy between the mind and the mental energy and the heart and the soul energy. But, you know, this is the outcome of this second eclipse for you guys. Look at all the brightness and beautiful energy around these cards. Very positive, very uplifted, very much about moving forward. And the Fool card is really about enjoying the journey, not being so caught up on the end result or where you're going or, um, you know, where things are supposed to be, et cetera, et cetera. That, again, is all, that's all stuff that the ego wants to know. And I just feel like you're moving away from that. Okay, let me clarify this Seven of Swords for you, please. <laughs> yes, it's like in not taking care of yourself and your own needs, you are not able to take care of others as well. So in a way, this shift is going to help you have more of those deeper emotional connections in your life with family members, with friends, with yourself. My goodness, with yourself, of course. So you, it's like you can't ignore, you can't get away from this shift that is happening. And I hope you can just take a moment and thank the universe and thank the cosmos and the planets and for all the hard work that is constantly going on whether we're aware of it or not. There is so much spiritual support in the angelic realm and all of that. So, you know, this shift that's happening for you guys, it's not an accident. You've been building to this for a very long time. That's why I feel like this second eclipse is going to feel easier for you. I don't think it's going to be really, really heavy because when I'm looking at all these cards down here, like you're quite stable. You're quite stable. Okay, beautiful. Let me just clarify this Six of Pentacles. Yeah. So what I was saying about letting go of the imbalance in relationships, like you're shifting to focus. Look at this Knight of Pentacles. He's got one pentacle. He is focused. They're going to make sure that it is healthy and balanced and that it succeeds. When you're spreading yourself thin and in relationships where you're underappreciated or um, taken advantage of, that depletes your energy. So look at how much more solid this Knight of Pentacles is. It's building foundation. So this is beautiful. You're letting go of unbalanced and unhealthy relationships and bringing in stability and longevity to the relationships and the people and the opportunities that are meant to be in your life to move forward with longevity. Awesome, awesome. Okay, let me see if there's any last messages for fire signs. Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries for the eclipse, January 10th, 2020, and full moon. Thank you. 
There it is. Awesome. Harmony. Ta-da. You guys did it. You made it. I mean, I feel like this is a very fitting final message is harmony. You're coming into balance in body, mind, and spirit. You're going to be more solid than ever. Fire signs. I really, really feel that. So beautiful message. You know, and I think this full card, this came out in the, um, the air reading as well for the eclipses. So I'm curious to see if it's going to come out in the, the water and the earth readings as well. Because we're all just like letting go of layers and layers and layers. But again, harmony is your last message. Beautiful reading, fire signs. I hope that resonates with you. Thank you for your comments below the video. I absolutely love reading all your comments. So thank you for taking the time to do that. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I literally have clients all around the world at this point, which I am beyond grateful for. Um, we would schedule according to your time zone. So no worries on that. This is my full-time work, so thank you guys for keeping me so busy week after week after week. Um, March will be my two-year anniversary of, of doing this full-time with you guys, so thank you for being a part of my journey. Um, normally, I give a 15% discount for your very first energy session or as a first-time energy client with me. For the new year and um, eclipse season, I am giving you a 20% discount on your very first energy session um, or as a first time energy client. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you in some way. It is such a powerful time to be getting any sort of energy work done right now because of the amount that we're healing and letting go of and, you know, ascending. We're all moving into these new layers and these new territories. So the energy work is going to help you release what you no longer need um, a lot easier. It's also going to bring you into balance and alignment so you can really be in your highest and best self moving forward. So again, the link is below. All the information is on my website and you will see the discount for the 20% off your first session. So that's it. I will see you guys back here for next week's uh, weekly bump and uh, also you can see the full uh, 12 astrology sign readings for each month. So I'll be doing the February ones um, at the beginning of February. So that's it, fire signs. Have a wonderful eclipse, and I will see you back here soon. Take care.